We are less than two hours away from the deadline to sign up for health care. That deadline is a key part of the Obamacare law, and people who don't meet it, well, you'll face a penalty. As you'd imagine, sign-up programs like this one at the Downtown Library have been pretty busy today. Allison Johnson is among those signing up at the last minute. She has insurance, but found better coverage through Obamacare's health exchange. Well, I came to see if the difference, if I could still get affordable insurance and maybe cut the price on, and this is a little cheaper than what I have. The 11 p.m. deadline is only for people who don't have health insurance to begin the process of getting it. Those who lose their insurance or get married can alter their coverage at a later time. All across the mid-state in the country, there are people who will miss tonight's Obamacare deadline. Now, some are choosing to miss that deadline because they don't like this law, but others are simply procrastinators. Fox 17 Sky Arnold is now live in Midtown with a look at uh, what happens to those folks. Well, Scott, for those who are procrastinating, there actually are some options still available, including where we're standing at. Uh, look behind me, you see some folks who are trying to sign up for Obamacare even as we speak. We're at the Family and Children's Service location at 201 23rd Avenue North. They're going to be open here until 11 p.m. tonight, helping people enroll. And as you can see, there are some folks standing by to do that. And as you're about to see, putting off on all of this, well, it's something that could definitely cost you. Bronze covers 60%, silver is 70%. Pebbles Nelson didn't want to do this at the last minute. This is, of course, the cheapest plan, Which? so the deductible is super high. But she was waiting to see what insurance options her new job provided. You're paying a little bit more a month, and that deductible just drops down to zero. Before choosing Obamacare on the last day possible. I know I needed insurance, and everyone that I talked to that had signed up had nothing but good things to say. If Nelson had waited any longer, she would have had to pay a penalty. It's either 1% of her yearly income or $95, whichever is higher. And there are some out there who are choosing to pay it. I just pay it. They, they, they charge us for everything else, so hey. Jarvis Phillips calls the penalty a liberty tax. I just don't feel like uh, I should be uh, forced into getting that anyhow. He believes it's his patriotic duty to disobey a law. He believes it's not only wrong, but unaffordable. Phillips says the Obamacare plans he found were more than double what he'd been paying before his old insurance was canceled. <laughs> what if you get really sick or you get an injury? I got a whole lot of faith in what I got going on with God. Phillips is putting that faith in hopes he'll find an affordable plan on his own, away from the Obamacare website. This is really the first time I've ever had health insurance uh, alone. Pebbles Nelson says has been a welcome surprise. For the price and for the various locations that they're making available, it's really, it's really a great deal. Now we are hearing that some folks are still having a hard time logging on to the healthcare.gov website. Again, that's one reason why the Obama administration earlier approved somewhat of an extension allowing folks who begin the process to complete the process by April 15th if they're not able to complete the process tonight. We should also mention that that fine that we mentioned to you does not apply to everyone. If you make less than $10,000 a year, you do not have to pay it. We're live in Midtown Nashville. Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.